not really ourselves tonight. I, I, um, I, I really missed. So we started, okay, I cannot say differently like what I, what I said to all your TV colleagues outside. So we started, I think we started okay. Um, didn't like 100% intensity even in the beginning, but it's a start. We have to, sometimes we have starts like this. But then we lost rhythm and never found it really back. So um, it is, we had moments where we could have played much better. Look, they, they played at the diamond tonight, at least for a while, um, first half. And there's no system in the world which is perfect. That means you can use these kind of things. Um, and especially in the diamond, it's, um, if, you, if you fix the last line, you can play left and right and should play or left and right of the sticks. So it makes it pretty tricky. Yes, it's quite a, a challenge for protection because they had Madison on 10 and Iannaccio and Vardy up front. So it's not so, it doesn't feel comfortable, but there's, there's, you can play there. For these situations, you cannot, you should not take um, always an obvious thing, like the obvious, like you have a ball free and you can cross and players are in a box, these kind of things. And you forced, we forced it a little bit too early. We crossed too early the balls in the first half instead of passing the extra pass. You, and, and, and if we do that, then all of a sudden the situation looks completely different. We tried to change that in half time, um, but for some reason, it didn't, it didn't click tonight, uh, really. And so when they scored a goal, it was clear we are now under pressure. Crowd was there, great atmosphere, um, and we were pushing them, but uh, didn't use the chances. Missed free headers, all these kind of things. And in the end, what I told everybody who was responsible for the lesser performance tonight, I told them well deserved because the story is actually nice. Uh, um, one of the guys who is constantly talking about um, you should not play the 26 and 28 plays only the 28 and lose against the team who plays the 26 and 28. It's a funny story, I know. Um, and so I think really think in that really strange, um, in a strange game from our side, they deserve the three points. Okay, thank you, Neil. We've got Sam Wallace, and at the moment that's the final question. Without any more hands, Sam. Oh, Sam, I think we can't hear you. I don't know if it's because of the headphones or, or what. Yeah, there we go. No, um, no, he cannot hear no, you. Yes, we can now, Sam. Yeah, far away, mate. Um, so you can hear me? Yeah. Um, just, just looking at the bigger picture, it's only your second defeat in 29 league games. And yet by the time you play again on Sunday, City could be 12 points ahead. Um, it's kind of a remarkable situation that you find yourselves in. I mean, if you can make sense of it, uh, that would be interesting. I mean... What's your view of it? Yeah, and to, to top that, that that story, Chelsea and us play against each other, so we cannot both get the points, obviously. Yeah, I know. So look, um, sorry for that, um, but um, it, it's, it was not our plan tonight to, to make it, uh, to, to give City the chance to run away or whatever. But if we play like tonight, we don't have to think about catching up with City. But if we play on normal football, we can win football games. Then we have to see how, how often, how many points we can get. And then we will see what that means. But um, how I said, I don't have a proper explanation for tonight. But to find this explanation is my main concern and not in this moment the gap to City. Thanks, Sam. Jamie Langdon, from, I believe from Sky. Maybe you're wrong there. Jamie, to finish it off with a couple of questions. Yeah, hi, Jürgen. What would you say about Mo's penalty miss? Only his second in the Premier League. Did Madison say something to him to put him off, do you think? No, I didn't understand the second part of the question. Did Madison say something to put him off? Yeah, Madison, for sure, was, was talking to him, but that's, everybody tries that. Um, it, that. That's not the problem. So it has really. <laughs> it's not, not a little bit of a, a blaming or whatever. You know, he, he scores usually from these situations tonight. He didn't. It's a little bit like the, like the whole game was. So Mo is part of the team. And um, usually he's, he, he's better in this situation, like the team is usually better in a, a football game. Tonight we weren't, and that's why we lost. And that's 35 matches um, where you've scored. This is the first match after 35 you haven't scored in. It's some, it's some, some achievement not to score for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. So we needed, we needed obviously some effort to not to score tonight. So we had, we had quite a few chances. Um, I think if we were close to, to score, that wouldn't have made the game better, actually. If, if, if I would sit here, I know it's easy to say, um, and we would have won it 2-1, but it was obviously possible. Um, I wouldn't have liked the game anyway. 
So I can, then you can say these things like, yes, you have to win the dirty, win the, the dirty games are very important. That's all true. But um, no, tonight I didn't like a lot in our football game, to be honest. And that's, the, that's not cool. That's not why we do it. So we have to do better. And we have a few days to, to, to talk it through, think it through, improve, and go again.